configure name at a standard IPv4 access list. Addressing table R1 four interfaces and four subnets. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four subnets, um, four interfaces on the router. And five end devices. Two servers, three PCs. Two servers, three PCs. Configure and apply a name at the standard access list. Okay, access control list, verify connectivity. All three workstation should be able to ping both web server and file server. For example, from PC1, ping web server and web server and file server. Open PC1. Common prompt, ping file server 200, 100, ping 192, 168, 200, 100. Okay, file server. Okay, success to file server. Now, 100, 100 to web server, to this server from PC1. 100.100 enter okay for example from pc2 ping web web server and file server when i do 168 file server 200 100 success uh, web server 100 100 success configure a name at the standard access list on r1 go to r1 command line interface enter okay on global configuration mode Enable configure terminal on global configuration mode. IP access list. Access IP access list. The type of access list standard. Standard. And the name file underscore server underscore restrictions. File underscore server underscore restrictions case sensitive okay enter permit host 20.4 permit host 20.4 is pc1 host pc1 Permit host 192.168.20.4. Okay, host PC one, not not the subnet, only the host PC one. Enter. Also permit host 192.168.100.100. Is web server 100.100. This. Okay. 100, 100, enter. The, deny any other connection. Deny any other connection. Enter. Okay. The ACL name, the access control list name is case sensitive. And the statements must be in the same order as shown. 
Okay, be careful. Show access list and uh, privilege exec mode show access list. And you can see your standard, uh, the name, file server restrictions, and the entries. Apply the name and access list. Apply the access list outbound of the Fast Ethernet 01 interface. Okay. This is Fast Ethernet 01 interface on the router. Okay, this is Fast Ethernet 00 on the router, Ethernet 000 and Ethernet 010. But this is Fast Ethernet 01. Fast Ethernet 01. Configure terminal interface, Fast Ethernet 1. IP access group, the name of the access list out. IP access group, the name is file underscore uh, server underscore restrictions out. Enter, exit. Show access list, show running config, show IP interface brief. Show IP interface for Ethernet 01, okay, R1, and verify and show access list. Access dash dash list. The access list show running config. Okay. The access list place it on first Ethernet 01. And show IP interface fast Ethernet 01. Outgoing access list is file server restrictions. Verified access list. All three workstations should be able to ping web server. Okay, PC1, command prompt, IP address of web server is 100-100, okay, ping to 100-100, success, from PC0, ping 182-168-100-100. Success, PC2, 100, 100 success. But only PC1 and the web server should be able to ping file server. Only, only PC1 and web server should be able to ping file server. Go to PC1, file server is 200, 100. 200 100 from PC1 success from web server ping when I do 200 100 success now click on PC0 and from PC0 click to file server 200 100 Destina destination host unreachable and PC2 200 100. Destination host unreachable. Okay, R1. You only permit the host 20.4, that is PC1. Also, 
only permit host 100-100 that is web server. And only permit PC1 and web server to connect the file server. So that's why the access list is placed on Fast Ethernet 01 outgoing traffic. Fast Ethernet 01 outgoing traffic. Fast Ethernet 01 outgoing traffic. Outbound outgoing traffic. 100%. Thank you very much.